I've been lucky enough to have my Radio Master Boxer for nearly two weeks and I'm totally converted. It's had a lot of use and it's now my perfect daily radio. It's just the right size, the right weight and with the latest Edge TX version 2.8 ready installed and an internal 1W ELRS version 3 module, it's got everything I need. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, almost. I've decided to take the utterly fantastic Radio Master AG01 gimbals off my trusty TX16S Mark II and fit them on here to make it complete. Now, I'm not a massive fan of pimping my radios, but these gimbals are the best and they look fantastic. Upgrading this is utterly trivial and it's not really worthy of a video but I appreciate that the Boxer is on pre-release for delivery in January 2023 which is you know three or four weeks away so most of you won't have one and I thought maybe you'd like to see how I fitted them plus you get a sneak peek inside. Hello and welcome to the Welly Boat channel. Right, so I have already stripped the AG01 gimbals out of my TX16S Mark II and these are they're just the best, unbelievably good. So we need to fathom out how to get this apart. So, well, let's take the battery out to start with. Um, by the way, I've had a number of subscriber questions asking if the older 5000 mAh battery that Radio Master have been selling for a while will fit in this case and yeah it will there's loads of room so if you've got one of those you don't need to buy one of these uh, let's have a look two screws there uh, and there's one, there's one there. Okay, so let's get this out. Okay, yeah, they are cross heads. And I'm hoping these will all be the same size. And it is going to be very interesting to see inside this. Yeah, that same size. That's good. Okay. What if I need to? Oh, let's just leave that for a second. Oh. No, no wires. <laughs> That's good. So. The, if you've ever taken the TX16S apart, you'll know that there's some cables you need to unclip, but this rear case just comes off on its own. And everything is connected to the top case, which is fantastic. Even the antenna, very good. So, what have we got here? It all looks very nicely put together. They've put this sort of hot glue gunk on all the solder connections on the switches, which is always a good move. And yeah, that's on all of those. Quality of the PCB looks very nice with the gold silk screen. And yes, very nice. So it's one big PCB that goes all the way around there. The TX16S is two or three PCB, something like that. And the obvious thing, slap bang in the middle here, is the Express LRS module with the big heat sink. And this has also got this radial fan for keeping everything cool. And you only get that fitted with the LRS version. And I wouldn't mind betting that that module is exactly the same as the ones that they're putting in their Ranger modules, which I reviewed recently. 
So let's fathom out how this comes out. It's going to be fairly straightforward, I think. Four screws. And that's it. So let's get these out. Just disconnect this cable. Remember to pull on the connector, not on the wires. And let's get this out. So Radio Master obviously refined the design and build to having one PCB which is going to make production costs that much lower. Coming out. Yeah. There we go. Let's retrieve these. Two, three, all stuck in there. Four. Oh, come on. There we go. That can be stored away. So that is throttle. So we need. The floppy one, throttle and yaw. Yep. And this goes in that way around with the wires coming out that side. That's a pretty snug fit in through that front. There we go, that's just clipped in now. That looks so good. Okay. I mean, this is a really straightforward conversion if you want to do it. Number three. And I've been using this radio for <clears throat> a few weeks, well, the f two weeks now. And I haven't used anything else. And I haven't had to charge this battery up at all. I'll just check what the volts are on it. Looking good, is that flush? That's flush. That's good. Just nip these up. go and this can plug back in there like that and tuck the cable away where it was before. Well that was easy as you'd expect. That's just so good. Right let's get the other one out and swap it over. Well, there we are. That was pretty straightforward. Just checking that's not catching on anything and it's fully seated around there. That looks great. And of course, I set these up on my TX16S, so the spring tensions and travel are exactly the same. But if you want to change that, you don't have to take the case apart. You can use these four slots on each gimbal to control the spring rate and the tension, sorry the spring rate and the throw. Right so I think that's it, I mean utterly trivial. Let's uh, put this back together, was the case, there we go. Everything's in there. I'm sure there will be other reviewers well known to the channel that will give it a good tear down and examination with a mi microscope and um, 
see exactly what's going on in here. But it's useful just to see what's under the hood. There we go. So, battery can go in. That's good. Just need to get these on. I'm sure there will be a whole range of Radio Master sort of pimping accessories for this. Looking at the space inside, I'm not sure that those LED rings will fit, but we'll see what happens. Right, so, moment of truth. Does it still work? And yes, I've still got full throw on all of these. If you change gimbals, there's something you need to do, always, which is calibrate. That's why that came up with that throttle warning. So if we go to system and page across to page six, hit, that's the hardware page, hit calibration, enter to start, so set our sticks to midpoint, that one's there already, press enter, move sticks, so just move these to their extremes, like that. Might as well do the rotary pots as well, you can see it's going up and down. <clears throat> also, the detents on these rotary knobs, it's very good. Right, so that's all done. Fantastic, so I can go return, oh, page, page, ah. press and hold, that's it. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we've got here. So, looking at the throttles, so throttle is minus 100%, plus 100%, yaw is minus 100%, plus 100%, pitch, plus 100%, minus 100%, and roll is minus 100% plus 100%. That's all fantastic. And one other thing that is worth doing is just checking what the battery range is set to on here, the date and the battery alarm. Now the date is correct, that's good. Battery range well, that's slightly off, isn't it? Um, in the spec for the Boxer Radio, it says 6.6 .6 to 8.4. So we'll just... .6, 6. There we go. And let's have a look and see what the um, alarm is set to 6.6, .6, which is actually fine because it will... Um, let me see, 3.3, it's 2S battery in there, so 6.6 .6 is absolutely fine. So that is all good, and, oops, we can just get out of this, page, page. Now what's interesting is I've been using this battery on its original charge for pretty much two weeks, whilst I was testing it for a view, and also while I've been testing my uh, hydrophobe quad 7.8 volts I haven't had to charge it at all it's fantastic and that's running at the full one watt and it's not on the dynamic setting either it's on one watt all the time very very pleased with this well that looks fantastic doesn't it these AG01 gimbals aren't cheap but they really do set the gold standard for transmitter sticks and now they're fitted to my new favorite radio I'm pretty happy. Now, Radio Master kindly supplied this for review and I've had about two weeks to use it in anger. The weather's been terrible, but I'm testing my waterproof hydrophobe drone, so it's rain and snow, they're not really a problem. Although, 
my hands have been pretty cold. And I can't really ask for anything more. This is small and light enough to not be too fiddly like the Zorro. And with the one watt ELRS module, it's about as contemporary as it gets. And looking at the build quality inside and out, I think this will stand up to very regular use. But of course, only time will tell. Now I put Radio Master links in the description so you can check out prices and availability. The radio is on pre-order now for delivery in January 2023. And if you plan on getting one, I suggest you get your order in soon because this is going to be popular. As always, thanks for watching. And if you found this helpful, why not subscribe or maybe buy me a coffee to support the channel. And a big end of year thanks to all my viewers and subscribers for watching and supporting the channel and generally listening to my various ramblings. I know I don't say this enough, but your support and coffees keep me going and it's very, very much appreciated. I'll see you next year.